The rail is part of your stapler's magazine assembly. It is the spine of the magazine. The staples sit on it, and it guides them to the driver. The rail is made of a durable plastic, but after years of use, it can wear or break due to an accident such as dropping the stapler. Replacing the rail is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rail from the stapler. It's secured with a screw in the front, two in the rear, and a long hinge screw. And now we remove the rear bracket. The feeder is secured to the rail, and I'll go ahead and remove it. Now we can install the new rail. These clips are installed just for shipping. I'll go ahead and remove those. And begin by replacing the shoe and feeder. I'll slide the feeder shoe over the rail with the long portion towards the front of the gun. Next, I'll pull some of the cable out of the feeder and place the feeder through the hole on the shoe. You want to orient it so that the cable is aligned with the front of the gun. Now I'll secure it with a nut on the back side. Now I'll reinstall the rail cover. There's a spring that holds the cover closed, and that fits into this notch on the back of the cover. Just like that. I'll line the cover with the rail. And insert the hinge screw. I'll go ahead and tighten up the hinge screw. Now I'll replace the rear bracket. And I'll finish up by resecuring the screw in the front of the rail as well as the two in the back. And now you know how to install a new rail on your stapler. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.